to it. Well, I won't. Look. Look. It's Lily. Demon. Yeah. Mommy. I'm sorry, I started recording six seconds ago. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Shaw. I'm Pixel. And I'm Rex. Today we'll play, Rex is playing Diablo, Diablo 4. For our entertainment. For your entertainment. For your well. pleasure. Phrasing. You're welcome, She's straight people. For your pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome, straights. And maybe some of the bisexuals. And pansexuals <laughs> out there. Hello, you pansexuals. And almost all of the gays, because we stand. Yes, mm-hmm. queen. <laughs> the, when uh, Bayonetta 3 came out. Wait, what? Funny and that kind of ang- anger and do Wait, what does that say? Check uh, network features. Uh, oh, it's got an update. Well, just press it's just button. the network features. Oh, it, it requires the network. Why? 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 Why is this a 2010s always online game? I have no clue. It's... Um, Welcome back to Joe Mod. There's a lot of online features in this game. I think it's got a fully update in order to play it. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, it shouldn't take that long to download. You were saying? It's like. Huh. Heh. I'm sorry. I didn't have that issue. Then again, I downloaded it in full. Yeah. What student developers have been here? How can you tell? 144 gigabytes. 144? Yep. That's how big the average uh, Call of Duty game is. Oof. It's bigger than the Switch's natural hard, uh, hard drive. How much does it say this is? Oh, yeah, it's... Let's just fill that time with rambles. <laughs> ramble, uh, ramble, 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 ramble. I'm the kind of guy who will never settle down. <laughs> no, that's I'm a wanderer. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, remember when, uh, Bayonetta 3 came out and just like people just come out and say like the streets have never been attracted to Bayonetta and it's just like no I think they were pretty much attracted to her during the first game well but it's just it's funny because it's the op- like complete 180 because it's just like Bayonetta oh she's just you know straight male gays like sex fantasy She's just, you know, sexual object now. To complete flip to... The streets have never enjoyed the Bayonetta. Hey. <laughs> yeah, people turn on a dime on the internet. I mean, there's... I mean, people still thirst over Lady Dumitresque. She is still very much relevant, and I can already see people. A lot of people. I can honestly already see a lot of people just like thirsting and standing over Lilith in Diablo Four. I can see that. I'm over here like you. Who I'm ready to bend the knee. Oh, you ha- <laughs> you have trouble with downloading that game as well. The yeah. whole internet is looking for that game to the point where someone ported it from their PS4. What? The this game? PT. PT. Oh, uh, Silent Hill PT? Yeah. Did you hear about the new one that's coming out called Ascension? Uh, yeah. I very much look forward to that. Yeah. Honestly, I hope they bring back that one monster. Tr- Pyramid Head? Rorschach. Oh. Uh, uh, I honestly uh, want to see Pyramid Head and I want to see the nurses. Yeah. The nur- I love the nurses because of how challenging they are to get through. I love them because of how challenging they are to my penis. 
I was just going to say, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, so I have it on my download queue. It's not that I didn't, like, had it and undownloaded it and made that mistake. My thing was that I was like, oh, if I open up a PS, like, PlayStation account and then grab it, then it won't matter that I don't have a PS4, he said like an utter fool. <laughs> Wait, is PT for VR, or... I... No, I don't... I thought there was like a, silent, or a VR version of PT. I don't think so. It's... I think that was before PSVR. Um, it was a very difficult thing to come by, but yes, okay. there was. And we all know why I want to see Pyramid Head. I'm gay abs. people. Yeah. I have abs. They're just hidden behind a kegerator. There's actually a TikToker that does Pyramid Head that is super buff. You're yeah. have to, I'd have to look it up. Well, uh, apparently just, uh, there was a like, Cuphead style game in the mm-hmm. under the name Pyramid Head. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was called Prism Head or something. Oh. I'm not surprised. No. Now I'm just imagining, you know, shots of like pyramid head dragging around the the, the nightmare great hell knife, levels. The... And then just stop and just like. I would love to see a real Cuphead versus Bendy game. Well, it, that's he's dra- dragging along the great knife. Stop. That just kind of wide shot, and then just lights pop on. And just I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. <laughs> Great. Now Pyramid that, Head versus Bendy. Now that you made that. it. That. Now that you put that into the universe, someone's making that. Yeah. Hello, artists. Guys, can we get a Pyramid Head versus Bendy video, please? Next time on Death Battle. Please. Actually, scratch that. Death Battle's too biased. Imagine. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They pit red versus tie. Uh, okay. Here's the matchup: Death Battle is too afraid to make. Batman versus Barbie. Sailor Moon versus Dark Phoenix. Didn't they put sa- the one Sailor versus Beerus? No, I think that was. Which one was the Wonder Woman death metal? Wonder Woman versus uh, Rogue. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, X Men. Yeah. yeah. Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory versus the kid from Full Metal Alchemist. Edward Edward Edward, Al- Edward right. Eldritch. Was it uh, is it Eldritch or Ulrich? Al- Ulrich. I am not with... <laughs> I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist in years. I think I stopped watching it after the girl was turned into a dog. I... Making that man the most hated person in existence. Honestly, I just couldn't after that. Like, after watching that episode, I gave up because it was too much. Honestly, certain people who do certain offenses should have to dress up like that character for the rest of their lives. The yes. Tucker? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. How how much Sun Kitty? What? There was There's a, a cat, cat that black cat that just crossed my patio. That's a good sign. Yep. Black cats are like honestly me being the spiritual very much a really spiritual bitch that I am like I, I see black cats as good omens. So to have one cross your path is, is just like a little...
think it's all on its own. Do you mind if I have a smoke? Yeah, go for it. Right, thanks. I'll make sure to do what I normally do. Yeah. <coughs> this is for you when you get back in. One for me, one for you, love. And you have your three piece. This is a Lindor chocolate stick. Uh -huh. Accio delicious beverage. Ah. Hold on. I thought I kept one in the one bag. Pick your stick. I'll stick with this. I'll, he can choose when he gets it's back. Cigars and cigarettes and talk about many things. I move. And bark. Uh, you ever uh, watch Twin Peaks? I don't remember. But, well, the, I say that because there's one scene in particular where they're, uh, the two guys are having, uh, cheese sandwiches, and they're just, it's like, yeah, I want you to be completely incomprehensible while you're talking. And then just ever just post that scene on the internet, and a bunch of guys are like saying mood. Yeah. And when you ha when your manager asks you take to take a thirty minute lunch break for triple time on your paycheck this week, yeah, or nonsense like that. So oh. final nugget do do do. It's the final brain cell do 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 <laughs> Picked up this series called uh, Dan to Dan. Nice. It's about uh, uh, basically uh, this guy doesn't believe in ghosts and this girl doesn't believe in aliens. So she's in. She's a ghost. He's an alien. No. Is that the? Nope. But basically, the guy goes to a haunted tunnel, and she goes to a abandoned hospital, and so and they get end up the boy gets ends up uh, getting uh, possessed by what they call the turbo granny, which can run like 100 miles per hour, like kilometers per hour. There's actually and a she, honk. Oh, sorry. nice. And she pops up. And it's just like, you can suck my tits if you let me suck your dick. <laughs> Dan, uh, Dan to Dan. Yeah. Hey. 
Are you talking about real haunted places? Yeah, I'm talking about in this manga series. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I found the one manga I was going to... Isn't there a bunch of haunted places here in New Jersey? Yeah, tons. Um... There's a there's a haunted railroad with an underground tunnel in Adrian, Michigan, where I'm from. Nice haunted trestle, and uh, there's a the legend of haunted trestle is basically a there was a farmhouse near that railroad that burned down. The father stayed behind to put out the flames while a mom and her daughter went to the the train tracks to get, try and signal for help. They both got ran over by a train, and to this day. The the railroad is abandoned. Nobody uses it. It's very much haunted. And in the underground passageway in Haunted Trestle, there's a bunch of, like, it's supposedly a portal to hell. There is a lot of ritualistic shit that happened if there. If Futurama is to be believed, there's a portal to hell in New Jersey. <clears throat> That'd be a fun way to travel back and forth. Nightmarish. I, most likely dangerous. But I've seen a uh, few paranormal investigators try and locate the Jersey Devil to see if the legend is real. I mean, for me, like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the legends were true because anything is possible. Yeah. As long as you and got people a have solid found Appalachian sense, you're solid. The Mothman is real, if you believe. But you know what I think the story of that was? Are we? Are we? Yeah, we're still recording. Yep. Um. Oh, the last thing is still going in. I don't want. Well, I believe that the. I don't know if I should talk about this while we're live, but I believe the government experiments on people. Um, experiments mixing the the DNA of humans and animals. I've never known someone to fully read a military contract and still sign up for the military. All I'm gonna say there. Well, there were experiments. I mean, if you believe such things. There were at least the idea of experiments to cross a, like, chimpanzee with human in, like, Russia. Like, the USSR. But it's just like, yeah, that just... At best, that will just get you a stronger than average human. It's like, at worst, you'll just get a complete idiot who doesn't know how to follow orders. I believe the Mothman is an is a, a is a result of mixing the DNA of insects and whatnot and and humans. Okay, but which Mothman do you believe in? Cute Mothman or sexy Mothman? Neither. I believe that. I mean, I believe that, I mean, it could be a muscular being or things, I mean, as it's depicted, but I don't believe that it's handsome or cute. I believe it might be a malformed, malnutritioned, like, man moth. Believe me, there would still be loads of people on the internet who would go for that. I. I remember. People are weird. <laughs> I remember seeing a TikTok that. And weirder things happen every day, too. So. I remember seeing a TikTok where the someone's closet door was banging, mm -hmm. and they said, "I'll call my friends, and they're all power tops. Knock it off, or else I'll call them." And then the ba closet banging stops. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that one day that um, the basement door opened as I was walking past and I felt that cold chill on my arm mm -hmm. and I said, get the fuck back and it never happened again. Mm -hmm. His house is haunted. No joke, like literally. Okay, so last time I was here, I mean, when I was visiting, mm -hmm. I was walking through the kitchen and going into the dining room area and in between the kitchen and the dining room area, there's the door to the basement. Um... Well, as I was walking by, the basement door had actually opened, and I felt like a cold, really cold, almost burning sensation on my arm. Like it was that cold that it felt. Yeah. And I turned around, looked at the basement door as it was open, and I said, you need, you better stay, stay the fuck back. When it's time to, when, when we clean the house, I'll sage the shit out of the basement. Yeah. They're not harmful. 
but whoever is down there is very grumpy. Very, like, a very grumpy spirit. I believe it is an older gentleman. I left some tools down there and some construction materials, and they quieted down, so... And whoever it is does not like me, because I am... Possibly because I am... Yeah. You have my love and support. I know, but I'm fine. Here's the funny thing about spirits. If you tell them that they cannot follow you and that they need to stay where they're at, they have to. Don't ask me how that works, it just does. Maybe they secretly respect your boundaries. I think they... I mean, the spirit... A spirit versus a human. I mean, I mean, we're living and they're dead. There's... Soul with natural body laws, versus soul you know. without body. It's just the natural rules, I guess. A soul has no body for their own. But um, ching. Therefore, they have really no dominion. And you know me, I'm very spiritual, and I'm into all that. What people would consider nonsense. Normal people. There's gotta but be I, I only there. believe in what I witness, what I see, what I experience. I personally believe there's got to be something after life because your brain releases a lot of energy at one point. When you Our die. bodies are completely the, made up of energy. When we die, if that the, energy is dispersed. If, if all that energy is used to shit your pants and leave you rigor mortis, that's depressing. There's got to be something past that. I mean, that's just natural. Like, when you die, like, all your... Because the body uses muscles, and without, you know, without function, without... Our muscles pretty much yeah. relax so much. When we die, our muscles, our body pretty much relaxes so much to a point where, yeah, rigor mortis hits and we release everything. Because you know how, you know, we clench that shit. We, we, our bodies, you know, keep that shit in using muscles and all that other crap. There's a, uh, a story I read in the uh, Kauai Dam. Which was uh, the story of a, a samurai who was going to like do like uh, execution. Oh, and yeah, they um. He, and he's like, I'm gonna, and the execution he is like, I'm gonna hunt you when I'm when I'm dead. And he's like, Okay, prove you're going to haunt me by after I decapitate you by biting that stone. And he chops his head off. And suddenly the head, like, bites the stone. You're like, oh shit, dude, you're gonna be haunted. He's like, ha ha ha. him. Now he's gonna go. Now you have oh, oh, been too focused on biting the stone to actually haunt me. I forget the name of it, but there's a form of Japanese ritualistic suicide. That, well, there's... that takes place in the suicide forest mostly. Which yeah. is what got the... Logan but there's a name for it, for the there's a term for I can't pronounce uh, it, but I mean I can, but I just forget it what it's called. You remember what it's called? I uh, where is I where's my where is my phone? Well, I have it on the And it very much still takes place. To, oh, here it is. I think this is um, it. The joy of having two phones. I can remember some what? of the syllables to the word. On down on a sign over cosine. Seppuku. Yeah, seppuku. Often uh, called harakiri in the West, seppuku is the form of ritual suicide that originated with Japan's ancient samurai warrior class. The grisly act typically involves stabbing oneself in the belly with a short sword, slicing open the stomach, and then turning the blade up or doing. Sure, a fatal wound. And tearing out the heart to present it to uh, give honor back to a disgraced samurai. Speaking of samurai and shit, yeah. have there's you also a form of female ritual suicide called the Jigai ritual. The feminine counterpart of seppuku. Yeah. Have you been watching anything fun on Crunchyroll? Yeah, I've been watching uh, uh, 
been uh, been caught up on uh, Demon Slayer. Started watching uh, Jujutsu Juj 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 Kaisen. Jujutsu. What do you think of the current season of Demon Slayer? I'm kind of confused on it. It, it seems like there's a lot going on that just... Uh, I liked it. Get to see... Uh, Wait, the how many... Hago, the, the, the big titty pink hair girl. Mm. Show off. Like Rosario plus vampire? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's a, a pink hair with mean at the tips. Oh. The... One of the what there's a pink haired wives. female character in the new Demon Slayer season. She's the Hashira of Love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I've also been watching this uh, new show called uh, Rakudo's Bad Girls. I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a this uh, meek kid in a school of delinquents. Opens up a magic scroll sent to him by his grandfather, and now all the delinquents think he's hot. <laughs> Straight. There's a gay anime on Crunchyroll that I've been meaning to rewatch uh, or revisit. It's called Love Stage. Uh, Have you heard of it? No. It's basically about a pop artist who is best friends with a guy or, you know, college kid who is basically, you know, his parents force him to become a model for bride outfits, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the pop star and the kid get in a commercial together to <clears throat> promote bridal gowns and whatnot, and they kiss and all this other... And, and then this, like, whole you know, like, <laughs> romance thing ensues between the pop star and the, yeah. All that happy horse shit. Uh, I, I... And the college kid is also a simp for a, uh, a... an anime character with... or anime from a... a character from a, from a show within the show. <clears throat> that kind of looks like Sailor Moon. Ah. I forget the name. Um, but he, he basically has this big old body pillow, pillow of this girl. Yeah. So. But yeah, uh, it's a very, like, I'm secretly gay type anime. Yeah. And I'm in uh, love with, with this guy who's like, yeah. There's this, uh, one, uh, gay anime I watched by mistake. I forget what the name was. But I was like, good. This was like. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, a lot of the gay animes of today are very much. I don't watch a whole lot of them. But, well, I, but I love animes like Demon Slayer and whatnot because of the storyline. Yeah. Well, this was like. Uh, like enemy. 2010s um, then yeah. about when it was like before I like learned about country roll and it's just like it's on demand it's anime I'm gonna watch it yeah and it, it's like about this kid who meets a mysterious stranger and kind of like falling for them and it's like ooh isn't a Black mysterious Butler mysterious lady stranger and then it's like, oh, when's this lady gonna show up? And then the two of them kiss. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Isn't Black Butler also like secretly a gay anime? Kind of. Mm. There's there's gay characters in it. Mm, well, he actually just recently got me into it. We watched the Book of Atlantica. Yeah. We have the we have it on Blu-ray. I remember. Uh, but man, death in the in the movie. Mm -hmm. Love. The dramatic, like, when he wields the scythe and it turns green, there's this, this dramatic scene where he's walking up and it zooms in on him. Like, that was fucking badass. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, uh, I just kind of, in my mind, I just kind of really, uh, Black Butler to the 
era where the yaoi paddle paddles were big during the at like anime cons. Yeah. I've seen a lot of female cosplayers dress up as like the male anime characters, which I think is amazing. Yeah, it's it's that. nice to get like a I always find it interesting when they do the gender bending. Mm. Cosplayers like to gender bend quite a bit and it, it, it's always really interesting and like they do it so well. Yeah. It makes you wonder what if what if the anime or the characters in the anime itself are the opposite gender than they appear. Mm. What that wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Like it'd be, I think it'd be very interesting if, if it's just like, imagine, I think we get a lot more interesting characters if, at like the, like drawing stage of a, uh, of like a manga, mm -hmm. just like, okay, this male character, they're female now. <laughs> and it's just... You know, I was originally actually planning on turning my uh, music project. I have a music project out called Mother Sinister, mm -hmm. and it's all it's it's a, a cinematic metal project with epic dark fantasy with an epic dark fantasy storyline. Mm -hmm. And I always want that went over my head. <laughs> it, uh, um, I, I wanted to turn it into a manga because mm -hmm. I think it would be. I think it would be do great as a manga or an anime series limited very limited but yeah. um, I, uh, so my see my dream series would be a like a comic that gets turned into a cartoon and then one of the seasons is just okay we put a video game that's season five <laughs> You know, Castlevania Season 5 is actually going to be, like, basically, a, it takes place during the Dracula X, yeah, Richter Belmont. But, like, it, it's it's under a new name, it's called Castlevania Nocturne, mm -hmm. but I, I basically, I generally feel like it's going to be Season 5. But it just takes place so many years later, because Richter in this... I don't know if it's true in the lore, but in this series, uh, he is the son of Sypha and Trevor. Mm. Well, on all the, on most of the protagonists of uh, Belmont in some way. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> they'd be fun if they like adapted all the game stories to the thing, and it's like, okay, this season now. Castlevania 64. <laughs> I want to see what they they if they would ever like do like the story of Soma or Shinoa. I wonder how I want, I think they would do Shinoa next or they would like they should do an a limited animated version of a uh, animated series version of Order of Ecclesia. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Patty. That story the story in that game was very good. Talk to you later. Argu arguably one of the best. It's like, you know, you know they get a successful uh, gag comedy uh, based off of the plot for Kid Dracula. I was just going to say that, yeah. Honestly, you put Kid Dracula in with the studio that made Castlevania... It would either be Kid the Dracula most... is actually a Castlevania game, but like, it like takes place supposedly takes place before all the others, yeah. or very much after to the point where it's like Breath of the Wild style. Honestly, one would one could argue that it, that Kid Dracula is pretty much its own game, and it's just like a knockoff. Well, one of those uh, Kudo up is like a Wanpaku graffiti. <laughs> yeah. You know they added Kid Dracula into the Castlevania Anniversary Collection? Yeah, it was, uh, I played it for a bit. I, I still haven't played it, played it yet. I'm currently stuck on Advanced Collection. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also playing Bloodstained. I'm playing the uh, the ones after Ritual of the Night. Or are they after or are they before? 
Because they very much made Curse of the Moon 1 and 2 look like an NES game. Uh, I don't... But they did it so well. Anyway, is this game downloaded? It looks like it's fully downloaded. I think it's almost there. Nope. Hold on, let me... If that's all it needed to close and then there reopen. Just 12 more percent. Huh. We're all sitting here talking about this weird stuff. Yep. This is high quality gaming content. Ladies, if you want to know why, what we talk about while playing games like COD Zombies or Halo or what have you, this is it. Yeah. Just the first thing that comes to our head. We all download on each other and just chill. Hmm. The same way you and your sisters go to brunch. Looks like I unplugged my PC at some point. Uh oh. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought of a, a dumb say, little saying uh, recently, which is a whoopsie doodle, stepped on a poodle. <laughs> Book it's fine, but I'm doing fine. Nice. What manga would you want to see an anime adaptation of that they haven't done yet? Uh, Have they done one of Kid Icarus yet? Uh, two. They've done an animated... Aha, this one. What's that one? Yeah, Tsuba. Oh. Never heard of it. There were two animated, like, OVAs for Kid Icarus. Um, basically, yeah, two was one of those, like, cute slice of life, like, cute kid comedy mangas. The oh. most recent up-to-date one is, like, Kotaro Lives Alone. Yeah. I want to see them do a direct sequel to Helsing. But I, I very much doubt it'll happen because... By the end of the Here. last episode of Here Helsing it Ultimate, mm -hmm. it's called. It's um, the, uh, hold on. That are the Helsing woman. Mm -hmm. She's very much up there in age. I don't, and we never know what will happen to her at the end. Yeah. Did he turn her? I think he turned her. Didn't he? Uh, I haven't watched Elsa. Oh, you haven't? No. I think you'd like it. Big boob vampires. Yeah. Vampire woman, yeah. Uh, I think of a... Because I haven't seen it yet, but I saw one of the scenes from a... Scenes from a Helsing Ultimate, where the girl, like, knocks the door down. And she's just like, Panties! <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, uh, Saris... That sounds like Saris. Is it? Well, she had the... Is she, like, uh, blonde-haired, wears a mini... Pl mini police girl outfit? Oh. Was this woman, like, spiky blonde-haired? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's... That's Saris. Is her name? That's the vampire woman I'm talking about. Well, instead of... Have you ever seen the abridged... Uh, no. Series? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I can do a great impression of Alucard from the Abridged series. You try to put the brakes on. You started to put the brakes on this. It's going down. Well, looks like I have to save Christmas. No other option. He can tell you how good of an impression I can do when I really yeah. get into character. That was a 70 inch plasma TV. So, how can I help you? You must be the great Alucard, sup. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? 
the Nightwalker who glides through oceans of blood. Oh, you dirty bitch, work the shaft. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I like to dirty talk when someone's sucking my dick. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you. Oh, so am I, and I'm failing, and I'm sorry for that. It's just that I'm so agitated because this blonde little shit strolled into my room, destroyed my 70-inch plasma TV, and is now trying to impress me like I'm his alcoholic father. <laughs> be a sport and grab daddy another bit, would you? In other words, in other words, Miss Van Winkle, ch ch, -ch check your privilege. That part where he's like, summon up your demons, hit me, fight me, give me a hug. <laughs> oh, really? Tonight, we're eating this blonde little wannabe demigod bitch. Who's your favorite character? Fridged. Gotta be the least girl. Bitches what love love rage. What's and up, why, blood? And why can't I remember anything? Bitches love cannons. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. I love Alucard, and I love, um, the brother. From the... Yep. Yeah, found and me. after that, the fucker, the fucking bitch ODs on heroin. <laughs> yeah, I found the, the shot I was thinking of. Not nah, yep, yep. Her, is that her? And yeah, that's her in full vampire form. <laughs> this whole fucking place is my house. You ain't the queen vampire bitch here. I am. <laughs> and you know what we Brits always say? God save the queen. <laughs> She's like a fucking blender, turning my men into paste. Oh, German bloody Mary. Why didn't we know about this? Why didn't anyone do proper reconnaissance? Oh, thick meat. <laughs> Honestly? She was like, if you're Say my name, you Nazi! <laughs> if you're set to do reconnaissance, do reconnaissance. <laughs> that being simple. There was a two part OVA for Kid Icarus Uprising uh -huh. as rewards for playing through the game with high scores. Mm hmm. Basically, Palutena uses an ingredient that turns vegetables to life. Is that where the eggplant wizard comes from? Uh, basically. <laughs> an, an eggplant with too much rejuvenator. It just becomes magical. Yay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> 